Good evening, I'm Belle, welcome back to my channel. It's currently about quarter to midnight of Wednesday night going into Thursday. And yet again, I've watched one of Lisa Snow's videos just before bed and her food looked so nice, I had to like start cooking. So anyway, this is going in the slow cooker overnight, totally inspired by the fabulous Lisa Snow. I don't get my food shop until tomorrow night, so I was very lacking in items that I could put in this. But what is in here is chicken thighs, skinless, boneless uh, packet of them. I've got some red lentils. And then I've added a um, sweet potato that needed up, uh, eating up. I've added some red onion. And then in the freezer, I basically had some old little bits of um, cubed carrot and swede and also some remaining um, carrot, celery and onion. I think they were probably packs that I bought to make soups with and then kind of chucked the remaining bits in the freezer. Um, so just come in handy, you know, when you've got to uh, make something inspired by Lisa Snow. Um, then I've added two of the chicken stock gels. Um, I think I've mentioned the red lentils already, haven't I? Um, salt, pepper, mixed herbs, and then quite a lot of dried tarragon and quite a lot of dried rosemary. I've added some water and I'm going to put this obviously in the slow cooker. Um, and I am just going to leave this on low overnight and uh, hopefully in the morning it's going to be a lovely chicken stew that I can take to work for my lunches for the next few days. So um, this is the beginning of Thursday's What I Eat In A Day video. So it's 7.40 and this is um, the lovely chicken stew. Um, I've just chucked some more lentils in. I also meant, didn't mention last night, but I put quite a lot of garlic in. Um, but I've put some, everything's broken up, um, but it's a bit more soupy. Um, so probably a bit more liquid than I would like. Um, I'll probably get some, maybe some corn flour later on and chuck that in. But I've just put some more lentils in, red lentils, and I've turned it up to high. Take, I'm going to leave the lid off. For like an hour and hopefully some of this liquid will reduce. So the stew is cooking away in the slow cooker, it's quarter to eight, I am so incredibly tired. We had massive storms last night and I basically have been up like every hour pretty much checking that the fence is still up, that the bins aren't halfway down the road and I am extremely tired. Um, so I'm having a coffee to start my day. I've got a little hazelnut coffee and I have measured out um, 350 mils of skimmed milk. So the stew is thickening up nicely with the extra lentils that I've popped in and keeping the lid off and popping it on high. Um, so I don't think I am going to need any corn flour actually, I think it will be fine as it is. Um, I've added some spinach and I'm just going to let that wilt down and I might later on add some mushrooms to it um, once my food delivery has arrived. But it looks absolutely delish so I might have this for my lunch I think. Um, in terms of brekkie I'm just too tired to eat a proper breakfast at the moment so this is what I'm taking to work. So I've got a tub of quark, I've got some skinny syrup in my desk drawer so I'll add some of that to this. Um, I've got um, just some strawberries, raspberries and blueberries all speed and then I've weighed out 50 grams of um, all bran. Um, and I will have this at work for my brekkie. I think I'm just going to have an orange or an easy peel or something. Now with another coffee to try and wake me up. So here we go, all done. Um, and yeah, it smells lush. I cannot wait to try this. So it's just got red lentils, chicken thighs without the skin on or the bones in, red onion, spinach, carrot, swede, onion, celery, sweet potato, chicken stock, tarragon, rosemary, mixed herbs, salt and pepper, and garlic, and a bit of water. Um, so yeah, I'm going to put some of this in a Tupperware container to take to work and I'm going to have it with one of these Uncle Ben's pouches. The long grain one is one sin, you just do it in the microwave. So yeah, that is what I'll be taking to work for my lunch today. So I am just in from work and look what was delivered today. I am super, super excited to try this. I'm not sure if I'm gonna use it this evening or tomorrow, um, but I literally have wanted one of these for a good few years. 
um, and eventually I got given um, the money to get one for Christmas and I ordered it at the weekend after I watched Fantastic Trim with Tan um, do a review and I just thought right I'm going to go for it so this arrived at work this week um, so super excited to try it if there's any recipes other than kind of the obvious chips or um, sort of roast potatoes that I should be doing in this comment below let me know what I should be trying but I'm very very excited to try out some recipes um, over the next few weeks um, food wise today I ate everything that I showed you I also added two sins of uh, options hot chocolate to my quark um, I had some milk with my all brown and berries and I also had two hotel chocolate chocolates which were three and a half sins each so I am currently I think on ten sins for the day um, that chicken stew was absolutely delish really really enjoyed it um, loads of flavor yeah so really excited that I've got that for a few days um, but yeah I'll have dinner a bit later I'm just waiting for my food delivery to arrive um, and then I'll unpack that and get on with dinner so it is nine o'clock um, I was supposed to have my food delivery between six and eight um, and it turns up literally minutes before eight so um, obviously I couldn't get in the shower and get out my work clothes and stuff because I didn't want to be in the shower when the delivery turned up so I've uploaded my weekly weigh-in update tonight um, and then when the food got here I wanted to do a little haul and show you what I got so I've done that and now it's nine o'clock and I haven't had my dinner yet I'm a bit of a weird one I do like to get showered and get out of my work clothes before I have my dinner so um, that means yeah it's now nine o'clock and I haven't had any tea so um, I'm just having a glass of Asda uh, Orange Crush Zero which is sim free um, and deciding what to do for dinner I need something super quick and I'm not actually massively hungry because obviously I had the big chicken stew at lunchtime with rice and I had a little bit of the kind of source of that when I got home when I was putting it into um, Tupperware to put away so um, yeah I don't really know what I want but something obviously quick and easy um, I really wanted to use my Active Fry tonight but it's just too late so um, yeah I'm going to drink this jump in the shower get changed and uh, yeah think about what to have for dinner so it is the ridiculously late 10.25 I know I know I know I know I know I know it is way too late to be eating dinner I should be in bed by now let alone having my tea but um this is what it is um so i am just having a much smaller portion than i would normally have because it's so ridiculously late i've just got um some spinach i've just thrown some in the bottom of the bowl and then i've added a little bit of leftover veggie chili from last week so this has got corn mince baked beans um passata sweet corn and then uh, butternut squash, mushrooms, peppers, onions, celery, carrots, I think from memory. Um, and then various spices. Um, and then I've just topped the whole lot with 15 grams of grated cheese, which is the second half of my second healthy extra A. Um, I've got an easy peeler for my pudding and I've got a glass of water. So because it is so ridiculously late, I'm obviously not going to be eating anything else today. So I will be finishing my day on 10 sins, which is 7 sins for the two Hotel Chocolat chocolates. Um, 2 sins for the uh, Options Hot Chocolate um, powder that I put into my Quark this afternoon. And 1 sin for the Uncle Ben's Long Grain Rice that I had at lunchtime. So it's been a good day on plan. I'm sorry I've been a bit all over the place. It's just been a ridiculously hectic day. Um, so sorry the food's not been massively inventive or imaginative or exciting. Um, but I do hope you've enjoyed today's video. If you have, do give it a thumbs up. Um, and uh, as always, do check the Sin app or calculator for anything that I've mentioned. But I will see you next time in my next video. Thank you so much for watching. Take care. Bye.